the iconic images of the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals have by now become one of the most memorable moments of 2015. One year later, we are celebrating the first birthday of these goals, looking back at some of the key moments over this past year. Seventeen SDG advocates have dedicated themselves this year to help promote the goals and encourage everyone to work towards them. Leaders from across the globe pledge their support for a sweeping agenda that would defeat climate change, end poverty, battle injustice, and reduce inequality. As campaigners, we can confirm to you that the word is spreading. Well, I think first and foremost, we can't act on anything unless we know about it. So I think our first job is to actually make sure that societies from the you know, regional, national and local governments to civil society to people, you know, students and teachers and doctors and nurses all know about the Sustainable Development Goals. A major milestone was achieved in March when the Statistical Commission agreed on a set of indicators that will help track progress in implementing each of the goal's 169 targets. During the high-level political forum on sustainable development this past July, we heard 22 member states share for the first time what steps they are taking to implement the goals. To promote the SDGs among the world's 2 billion young people, the Secretary-General's envoy on youth, Ahmad Al-Handawi, announced 17 young leaders for the Sustainable Development Goals. My main takeaway from this event is that we need to collaborate and partner with young people and put more investment in a place if we to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals in just 14 years from now, because that's what's left to 2030. Moments before the general debate kicked off in the General Assembly Hall on the 20th of September, we celebrated the goals with a special ceremony. Governments are already working on developing programs, identifying gaps and tracking progress. With the active engagement of all parts of the society, the world is slowly building a better future for all.